Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tuco from Music ID TV, and this is Use the News. So, Apple Music has launched Apple Music for Artists Beta. This launched in June of 2018, and it is pretty much just like Spotify, in which you can access the back engine of your presence on Apple Music. I would say one of the key takeaways from this is the fact that. Apple Music allows you to get access to your iTunes information as well. I think that's really, really cool because we've heard stories about iTunes store closing down. Even if it does close down, that little 99 cent purchase isn't bad for you to know along with the package of knowing what your activity is doing on Apple Music. But another cool thing is that they break down how well your song is doing on radio. Beats One Radio, of course, is another Apple Music feature, which is somewhat popular because you have a lot of popular artists like Nicki Minaj doing interviews on Beats One Radio. Another great thing about Apple Music for Artists Beta Program and why you should get on it, period, because I'm pretty sure if you have any music on platforms, it's probably on Apple Music. So, Apple Music just became the number one streaming service in the United States with 25 million paid subscribers beating out Spotify domestically, but internationally, Spotify is still number one. But when it comes to the home base, you want to be aware that Apple Music is number one and it's growing, so you want to try and manage your presence on that as well. Another thing is that Drake Scorpion's Apple Music streams outperformed its Spotify streams, almost by 10 million streams. On Apple Music, he had over 130 million streams, and on Spotify, he had about 120 million streams or so. So, Apple Music is not only growing, and its user base is also growing massively in its engagement. So, you can download Apple Music for artists from the App Store on iPhones. I would say one criticism of Apple Music for artists versus Spotify Music for artists, the game plan feature, which breaks down how to use Spotify. This is a feature that I don't think Apple really has for artists. So as much as they're trying to do this initiative, it might be just like a tit for tat until they really kind of explain how people can really utilize this even better like Spotify did. And I think that would encourage more people to use it. Beyond that, be sure to share with a friend, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section letting us know if you have Apple Music or not, or if you would even use this. Beyond that, this is Tuco from Music ID TV, and this is Use the News. Sign out.